Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. What are you doing today? Today I'm going to attempt to take the trip I wasn't able to take yesterday. I had some car trouble. If you watched yesterday's video, you know all about that. But, I've checked everything. There are no indicator lights on. Um, I have, All of the levels are what they're supposed to be. From the battery, to the oil, to coolant, to windshield wiper, fluid to tire air pressure everything is good i've taken the car for a couple test drives now it seems to be running normally no weird sounds no weird smells even so given all the trouble the car gave me yesterday i'm still a little nervous so we're gonna try this i do have a backup plan to make sure that we're not stuck anywhere uh, if the car does give me trouble again but uh I'm going to take Audrey and Mila Dog to Miami to have a cuckoo burger. And then we are going to see one of the most toxic places in the United States. So, Audrey, we're an hour and a half from Pitcher. We have a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's the middle of the day, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Oklahoma. Uh, I know it's spelled the same way as that city in Florida, but that city is called Miami, and this is Miami. And if you say it wrong, you will be corrected. Uh, that's Wayland's Cuckoo Burgers. Um, they've got apparently pulled pork and cauliflower, except uh, our plans to be or to eat lunch here have been thwarted. Why? Because uh, we're taking a vacation. Vacation day closed. Uh, open tomorrow. Well, that doesn't do me any good today. Uh, they are uh, only open for drive-through. The dining area is closed, so we wouldn't be able to eat inside anyway. But that's all right. I still wanted to. Uh, to have lunch at the famous Wayland's Cuckoo Hamburgers. So next time, maybe, I guess they have a, a cruise night. And uh, there's one of the famous cuckoo birds now. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a somewhat famous spot. Uh, looks like they've got some classic cars out here. Let's take a peek at them. So uh, they still got some classic cars parked out here, even though that's all closed. Oh, we could be sitting in there. That, if it, this were a normal day, we could be sitting right there having a delicious burger. Uh, so anyway, there's there are some classic cars. Uh, Audrey is taking Mila for walkies so she can take care of her business. Um, and what I believe we'll be doing for lunch, instead of eating at the famous Cuckoo Burgers is we'll be going right over there <sighs> to the Golden Arches. Ah well, the building's uh, set up to kind of look like a cuckoo clock, and there's the cuckoo bird right up there. I really wanted one of those delicious cuckoo burgers, and I'm not the only one disappointed. Uh, several people have driven through here 
while we've been parked here and uh, had to drive away disappointed that the place is closed. This is a day that they're normally open, but somebody, I guess, felt that they needed a vacation. So let's just do drive through at the Golden Arches. We're still sort of having lunch at the Cuckoo Burgers because uh, we're using their picnic table. I got uh, I got a nice refreshing water for Miss Mila. We are in the empty parking lot of Wayland's Cuckoo. Uh, every once in a while I am seeing a car go by driving through and uh, realizing that the place is not open. But th these picnic tables are convenient. In the shade, uh, the, I can park the car in the shade, and we have a nice lunch. And then we can go to Pitcher, which is uh, a ghost town and one of the most toxic places in the United States. Okay, that was uh, historic Miami, Oklahoma, and the disappointingly closed Wayland's Cuckoo Burger. I, I really wanted a Cuckoo Burger, really, but eh, McDonald's, all right. Now, on to nearby Pitcher, Oklahoma, the ghost town and uh, a place you really don't want to live. And right there is a giant chat pile. I'm not sure the camera is doing it justice, but it's a huge mountain of stuff that they dug up from the ground in Pitcher. Yeah, look at that. Just giant mountains that they call chat piles. And that is one of the reasons why Pitcher, Oklahoma is toxic. An abandoned neighborhood in what was once a thriving town. There's just row after row of houses that uh, were abandoned. This was Pitcher, Oklahoma. Not much here now. Um, that is the Quapaw Nation Marshals over there. I didn't know there was any facility here at all. Uh, I believe we are in Quapaw Nation right now. Um, so, I mean, some of this territory over here is tribal. There's some kind of abandoned building over there. And uh, there is still some traffic on this road, but uh, people are just kind of passing through. There's the, uh, there's the water tower. Pitcher Gorillas since 1918. So what happened to Pitcher? Uh, Pitcher essentially worked itself to death. Um, it was a mining town. Uh, this area is uh, mineral rich, uh, so, you know, the mining company came in and mined it all out. Uh, but they weren't exactly very forward thinking. Uh, they dug their mines too close to the surface, which uh, undermined a lot of the buildings, making the buildings uh, structurally unsound, and many of them are at risk of falling into the earth at any moment. In addition to that, <clears throat> what they did with the stuff that they dug up is, uh, of course they would sell it, but um, they would pile it up in these giant piles of uh, earth. Uh, and they put them in what was called chat piles. Uh, the chat piles are enormous and there are a lot of them out here. Um, I showed you some earlier. Uh, the problem is all that material is toxic. They didn't think about it at the time. Kids would climb on it and, you know, slide down it. Uh, but that stuff is toxic. And it seeped into the groundwater and made the water toxic. In 1980, uh, Pitcher was added to the Tar Creek Superfund. In the 90s, they 
discovered that um, the levels of toxicity were causing health issues for uh, a lot of the children growing up here, uh, potentially permanent health issues. And the town just couldn't be saved. They were going to have to evacuate. Uh, the town continued to struggle along, but in 2009, it was disincorporated by the state of Oklahoma. And by 2011, there were only six houses in the whole town that still had people residing in them and one business. I tried to find out what that business was, but I wasn't able to, to find out. I, I don't know what the business was in 2011 that was actually still here. Uh, that used to be a house, now collapsed. And uh, through the trees right there, you can see one of the chat piles. And people were living just right around all this toxic stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be really careful around here because there could be snakes and who knows what else. Uh, but uh, this is kind of a symbol of the whole town. It's abandoned and dilapidated. Uh, there's still a little bit of traffic that cruises along the street here, but uh, just passing through to other places. And what exactly used to be there? This colored concrete tile. Uh, there was a structure here at some point. There are certain values that are cultivated in Oklahoma. Hard work, uh, grit, determination, perseverance, tradition. And those are all good things. They're not bad things at all. But there's other values that are not especially well cultivated here. Values such as uh, tolerance. Values such as forward thinking, progress, education. In fact, sometimes education is scoffed at here. We have education here, of course. We have universities here, and some of them are not bad. I even attended a couple of them myself. But uh, given how the state budgets for education, it's quite clear that it's not a priority. And that's ultimately the downfall of places like Pitcher. This is the result of industry unchecked. The, uh, the mining company did what mining companies do. They dug stuff up out of the ground. But not a lot of thought was given to what happens to the environment? What, what happens to the community? Uh, is this safe? And that's something that Oklahomans have a hard time getting past. This idea that um, the regulation of industry is a good thing. It's generally thought that what's good for the business is good for the state, is good for the people. Um, and after all, if you shut down the mining town, what do people do for jobs? But the thing that was making them prosperous was also killing them. This isn't the only time when Oklahoma values have caused problems for the state in the Dust Bowl, in the uh, Great Depression. Um, when the Depression hit, prices for uh, crops dropped, and uh, as prices dropped and Oklahoma farmers saw their, their uh, profits drop, they did what Oklahomans do. They worked harder. They planted more. They harvested more. So if you're going to pay me less per bushel of uh, tomatoes or whatever it is, then I just have to grow more tomatoes. The problem with that is it just flooded the market with more of the product that was already devalued, driving down the prices even more. The response of hard work, perseverance, determination, and you know, if there's a hardship, you just work harder to get through it. It only made it worse. And I think that's the story of Pitcher too. This was a hardworking town, an industrious town, but not a forward-looking town. It, um, 
It's a town that didn't think about the future and uh, destroyed itself. There's that water tower. One last look as we say goodbye to Pitcher. That was our road trip to Pitcher. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm doing a, a vlog every single day, and some of them we're going to travel and see unusual places. Where will we go next? Let's stick around to find out. Now, I have a teenager and a dog to get back to Tulsa. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.